Hear ye, hear ye. Welcome to a special inquest presentation of Instrumental Instrumentals, live from the Granola Park Goat Milk Soaps Memorial Municipal Center with your host, Reginald Kingsport. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Bailiff Rowan the Intern, and thank you, dear listener, for joining us today for this special celebrity inquest presentation of Instrumental Instrumentals. Where I, Reginald Kingsport, your judicious jurist, will pick up the pieces left in the wake of my absence and fix everything. I'm joined in the studio today by your bailiff, the ever-present Rowan the intern. Uh, say hello, Rowan. Hear ye, hear ye. Well done, young one. And uh, we are also joined by everyone's favorite movable musical magistrate, that purveyor of oral pleasures, your jurors, the one and only Fighting Azalea's marching band. <laughs> if you've been away from our program for some time, you may have missed my stint at the Jackson Pollock Rehabilitation Center, where I learned to seize the sauce. It was a truly transformative experience, and I feel like a new man. But when this new man returned to his old digs, he returned to find his beloved station in a shambles. That is why we are gathered here today, dear listener, along with all of the characters of Granola Park Radio in this municipal center. For you see, Granola Park Radio is more than a local institution of non-profit noise-making. It is, for many, a stalwart of stability. Every two weeks, we return to the studio to find everything in its right place. The hip histrionics of Granola Park Radio with Sam and Jess. The jovial journalism of Crabgrass and Azalea Town. Even the benevolent bumbles of our own bailiff, Rowan the Intern. People turn to us because they know they can count on our consistency. We have been their rock amidst troubled waters, unchanging and steadfast. But during my time away, dear listeners, I am afraid that this font of firmness has run dry. I've returned to a station in chaos. Circumstances and characters changing from week to week. This will not do. This, this will not do one bit. And so, it is with this in mind, dear listener, that I prostrate myself before you, a sacrifice to the gods of order and consistency, as your able alcalde to set matters right. Bailiff, read the list of complaints. Hear ye, hear ye. Uh, Rowan, you didn't, you didn't say hear ye every time. But I like it. Uh, ration them. Yes, sir, your honor, Mr. Kingsport, sir. Hear one, hear all. The following complaints stand before this inquiry. Four thermostats have gone missing from the radio station. One toolbox has gone missing from Rowan the intern. One car bumper has gone missing from Rowan the intern. Reginald Kingsport's pills have gone missing from Celebrity Rehab. Uh, just a rehab, my boy. Uh, we have no time for pretense. Jess and Sam's sibling Sam are both in police custody. Our police chief, Indigo Montoya, has been accused of specially training cells of combat-ready squirrels to do dirty work around town in an effort to give the police force crimes to investigate. And our beloved Sam is still on the run. Is that all? I think so. This is going to be easier than I thought. Present the first witness! Calling to the stand... Police Chief Indigo Montoya. Chief Montoya, do you swear? I do, but I can keep it clean for the radio. Ah. Normally in a proceeding like this, specific counsel would be appointed to ask the questions. However, in the interest of time and comedy, we will allow anyone to do the questioning. Starting with me, Chief Montoya. You have in your custody two of this station's most prized hosts, Jess and Sam's sibling Sam. On what grounds do you hold these local heroes? First off, Your Honor, I must object to the bailiff's characterization of the issues at hand. His rambling recap failed to mention the hijinks of the holiday heist. Uh, the alleged hijinks of the alleged holiday heister who we believe is none other than this station's own sam of granola park radio with sam and jess 
Once she became aware that she was a suspect, she conveniently disappeared. Our ongoing investigations found evidence that Sam was getting help from inside Granola Park. We obtained the phone records of one Jess of Granola Park Radio with Sam and Jess, which indicate clearly that she has been in telephonic and text message contact with our prime suspect, undoubtedly keeping her abreast of our movements so she could remain one step ahead of us. Lies! Now, bailiff, compose yourself! Hear ye, hear ye. Mm. And uh, what of Sam sibling Sam? Sam sibling Sam, the sibling of Sam sibling Sam sibling, comma Sam, mm. was found to be pushing a conspiracy theory and misinformation campaign designed to distract attention from her sibling and public enemy number one by alleging that the holiday heister was none other than your own bailiff, Rowan the intern. Oh, so Rowan is a suspect as well. <gasps> Uh, what? Uh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's just a conspiracy theory. There's, there's no way this simpleton could possibly carry out a plot as sinister and complex as that of the holiday heister. I'm sorry, Chief Montoya, but we here at Instrumental Instrumentals take such accusations very seriously. Rowan, I'm afraid that as long as you're a potential perpetrator, you cannot serve as this body's bailiff. But who is going to say official things like, hear ye, hear ye, your honor? I'll do it. Blair? Oh. 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 Blair, the intern, uh, to the stars of, of the morning show, Doofus and Toad in the Morning, I thought you were already in the room. I was, but I opened the door loudly for dramatic effect. Did it work? I'll say. Indeed it did. Please, new bailiff, take the place of the suspected criminal Rowan. With pleasure. You're not going to get away with this. Get away with what? Uh, Mr. Kingsport, your honor, I am not the holiday heister. This court will make that decision. Young Rowan, what defense do you have? He didn't do it. He's just an intern. Just an intern? Oh, for... You know what I mean. Hmm. I know I'm not the holiday heister, because... Because it was Chief Montoya and the Indigo Squirrels! Oh, oh, order! Oh, order! 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 This is preposterous! I found one of the Indigo Squirrels in the air vents at the radio station. I'm sure it was trying to steal the station's newest thermostat, but I caught it before it could do the dirty deed. And where is this alleged squirrel now? Oh, I have it right here. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my goodness, it's so cute! Oh no, keep, keep, keep that away from me! Oh my mole! Dr. Fielding! <laughs> that's no mole, that's a squirrel. Uh, that squirrel is my mole. Uh, control your mole, Dr. Fielding! Uh, come to Papa, little Nevis! <laughs> oh, I've missed you so much! Uh, did that mean man child keep you locked up? That's your mole? Uh, that's right. Uh, Nevis here told me all about the indigo squirrels and their plan to steal things from around Granola Park to keep the police busy. Oh, haven't we had quite enough of your outlandish rodential conspiracy theories, Doctor? Sebastian no. Ozymandias! Whoa. You remembered my name! This is utterly ridiculous. I'm allergic to moles. And besides, we already have our hands busy with the holiday heister. If there is a holiday heister... Rowan, say no more. Everyone else say it again. Sebastian, Sebastian Ozymandias! Momo and gasp! That's right, it is I, Sebastian Ozymandias. Read the card. Oh, boy. Um, playboy, raconteur, living legend, and attorney to the stars of Granola Park Radio with Jess and Sam Sibling Sam. And, as of 30 seconds ago, self-appointed attorney to Rowan the Inept. <laughs> 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 Nothing to worry about, Rowan. Just a little nickname I invented after I heard someone else say it. It was me. Who could ever tell? Rowan, my boy. You've been wearing a balaclava over your face for, my goodness, at least three months now. It makes you look very guilty. I don't think I want you as my lawyer. Which means that getting you acquitted will make me look very good. First things first, Rowan, remove the mask. You mean the outward face that we present to the rest of the world? I've always felt as though mine didn't really match who I am on the inside. But I'm afraid to show my real face to the world. That would make me feel really vulnerable. Then again, maybe that's just what I need. 
to be true to myself, to show the world who I really am, what I can really do. All right, Mr. Ozymandias, I'll do it. <coughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was checking the sales of my latest book, Attorney Client Privilege, my compiled notes for meetings and dispositions. It's up to three million. Now, off with the ski mask. Oh, that's what you meant? Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Do you want to go home tonight, kiddo, or does the inside of a prison cell sound more appealing? This is the best show ever. Um, oh, well, I... Okay, here goes, but don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, oh, 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 oh. Best show ever. <laughs> Dear boy. You're hideous. No, keep your distance, child. We must not be captured in a photograph together. D order! Order! Rowan! What misery resides on your visage? I, uh... Did you fall face first onto a stove? Uh... Did I... you rub that mole all over your face? What? You could be allergic, too. <laughs> no, I... I... <laughs> were, were you <laughs> attacked uh, by an acid-spinning dinosaur? <laughs> oh. Hold on, I gotta get a picture of this. No. And answer the question, Rowan. Go on, you hideous, disgusting beast. The truth will set you free. What kind of lawyer are you? The legal kind! <sighs> okay. Oh, gosh, well... Back in October, you might remember that I accidentally spilled my coffee on the station thermostat, which left the station incredibly hot, stinking of cheese, and at risk of being shut down. We remember! Okay, good memories, everybody! Um, well, so then the station bought a replacement thermostat, and it went missing. And then they did that three more times, and a total of four thermostats went missing. Yes, yes, we covered all of this at the top of the episode. Uh, do keep the audience engaged, young one. Uh, right. W well, after that last thermostat went missing, and we didn't raise enough money in our pledge drive to buy a new thermostat, I took matters into my own hands. I pulled the one from my own house and installed it in the radio station. Oh, no, no. So that's how the station ended up with the world's most ancient thermostat? Yeah. Sam sibling, Sam! Guys, I, I've been here the whole time. You see, my client is innocent. Courtager! Now, not so fast! That doesn't explain the ski mask! And it doesn't explain why Rowan kept this a secret! You saved the station, Rowan! Didn't you want credit? Credit? It was Rowan's woeful clumsiness that put the station at risk in the first place. Objection! Sustained! I get to say sustained, Counselor. Overruled. Quite. Uh, Rowan, answer the question. Uh, well, the, the mask, uh, once, I, once I pulled the thermostat from my own place, it got cold there. Really cold. So I started wearing the balaclava around the house. Cooking, cleaning, sleeping, in the shower. Oh, ah, don't say shower. shower. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. The mask what? kept me warm, but not warm enough, especially at night. So I I started sleeping somewhere else. Uh, where did you sleep? Um, I slept at the station. Oh, oh it's really creepy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, but, but you kept wearing the mask. Oh, yeah, yeah well... <laughs> When I started sleeping at the station, the temperature was great, so I took my mask off, and that's when I saw. I was hideous. I must have developed some kind of infection. I guess I should have dried the mask off after my showers. I was so embarrassed that I couldn't bear to show my face. Wise. So I kept wearing the mask. You can put it back on now. No! no! Yeah, that explains why you wore the mask for so long. But why didn't you tell us that you installed the latest thermostat? Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, what was that, Bailiff? Oh, I said, he's up to no good. Ah. That's not what she said. Malfeasance! Contempt! I say contempt. Affidavit! <sighs> I have the hearing of an oleander hawk come off, and I heard what she mumbled evilly. She said, him, this is gonna be good. What? No, I didn't. I'm just as much as tent on tenterhooks as everyone else. She most certainly did, Your Honor. It's all right here in my latest book, Transcripts of the Inquiry on Instrumental Instrumentals, Part 1, with your legal guide, Sebastian Ozymandias, forward by Neil Tegaus Dyson, self-published just now to Valkyrie Prime, your welcome world. <sighs> well, it... It does appear to be in the written record. Victory! Court is ajar. It's adjourned! Already? Victory's mine. <sighs> oh, yeah. Blair, what's the meaning of this? Mr. Kingsport, has anyone ever told you your cravat makes your chin look very sturdy? Oh, well, yeah, yes, every morning. Uh, that is one of my daily affirmations. I, wait, wait, don't change the subject, clever one! Well, what if I told you 
I know who stole the thermostat. So oh, 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 oh. You know? Out with it! Don't keep us waiting! It was Rowan. <gasps> Jacuz! Oh, it's not true! It's not! Order! I know it. No! I only stole the first one! <gasps> oh gosh. Here it comes. The end of your record setting 15 year run as an intern, Rowan the intern. I guess it's time to face the music. It's true! I took the first thermostat! After I spilled coffee on the original thermostat, the station went out and bought a new one! And it was a really nice thermostat! But then, I accidentally spilled my coffee on it! Again. Oh, that sounds just like oh, yeah. Of course, of course he did. yeah. The coffee only got on the outside, though. So I thought I'd just take it down, clean it up, and put it back before anyone noticed. Thing is, it turns out the thermostat isn't dishwasher safe. <laughs> Classic. So when I put it back, it didn't work. So you just kept it? Oh, no. I donated it to a local theater company so they could use it as set dressing. A worthy endeavor. The next day, someone had already installed a new thermostat, and everybody suspected the holiday heister, so I just kept my head down and my mouth shut. Your head down? Now that's baloney. You started ingratiating yourself to all of the house around the station. All I heard for months was, Oh, Rowan, so helpful. Rowan makes the best coffee. Rowan folded my laundry for me. You just wanted to deflect the heat by convincing everyone you were a freaking hero. No, that's not it, I swear. It's not that I wanted people to like me. It's just that once I started living at the station, I had so much free time available to help out. Oh, so that's how you did it, you little sneak. Things were going really well until someone stole my pillow. I mean, my toolbox. And I couldn't get a good night's sleep anymore. You mean you were using your toolbox as a pillow? Yeah. Oh, well, that's no, really no, pathetic. No, that's wow. No, no, no. Why didn't you just bring a pillow from home? Oh, that's a really good idea. Thanks, Sam, sibling Sam. <laughs> this is too much. Oh, what's worse, Blair got a matching toolbox at just about the same time that mine went missing so that we could be toolbox buddies. All I've ever wanted in life was to be toolbox buddies with someone. Wait, wait. Blair, your nemesis, turned up with the same toolbox as you just after yours went missing. Oh, I know. It's tragic. When we were just about to put the past behind us and become forever bonded as... Sebastian, do something. <laughs> I am. I will. I have. You what? Uh, I don't know. Defend your client? Sounds like Blair over there set him up. Ah, oh, yes, Your Honor. Clearly the clever and more talented intern has sent up my client. Court adjourned. Court is not adjourned. Blair, explain this. It's... you... This toolbox is brand new. Just a coincidence. I love Rowan, and he betrayed me. He betrayed all of us by stealing the station's thermostat. And you stole his toolbox to sabotage him. You can't prove anything. Your Honor, I believe this toolbox should be entered into evidence. Oh, you're good at this. What are you up to later? Ew, no. Plus, you're still my lawyer, too, remember? I do. I thought I would just offer you some attorney-client privilege. Oh, oh uh. Lord. Uh, Blair, please present the toolbox. Open it. You, you don't need to see what's inside. It's just a bunch of tools. Open! Thermostat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your bloomers on. Yeah, so I took one of the thermostats, and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for that meddling fail turn. Look, Doofus and the Toad were putting on a special off-site raffle to raise money for the Toad's new Lamborghini. Mm. The tent where we held the raffle needed some kind of climate control, so I borrowed the station's thermostat for a few hours. When I came to put it back, the station had already installed another thermostat, so I figured that meant I could keep this one. I didn't want to keep the thermostat, and I didn't want to start renting it out to the people who rented the same place where we held the raffle, but that turned out to be pretty lucrative, so here we are. There you have it, Your Honor. I believe that settles everything. My clients are all innocent. Everyone else is guilty. Court adjourned. No, no court is not adjourned. St stop saying that. We now know that the first two thermostats were stolen by our respective interns, and the smart one stole the toolbox from the other one. 
We still don't know where the other two thermostats went, who pilfered my pills from rehab, or who bumped off Rowan's bumper. Oh, that was me. Just a prank. <laughs> go, go big or go home, right? You took my pills? No, no, just the bumper. It's still at the studio. Uh, n- n- no, it isn't. Bummer, oh. oh, Charlie, that handy person. Actually, um, I kind of prefer a maintenance engineer. What are you doing here? I thought you were working diligently on maintaining the upkeep of the station, as you've done silently year after year without any mention of you ever on the air despite your existing this whole time. Oh, that's right. Uh, uh, Since everybody's down here for the inquiry, I was the only person at the station listening along. When I heard you all talking about the thermostats and the bumper, well, I knew there were some gaps in your story. I think I can fill them in. Aha! The dandy gal did it. Caught his... No! If you mean the maintenance engineer took one of the thermostats, then yeah, guilty as charged. That's not what you think. You see, after Rowan spilled his coffee on our original thermostat, I thought it was a good opportunity for the station to upgrade. I'd been eyeing this really cool internet-ready central air system, and the station's board unanimously agreed that we should upgrade to it. So I installed it. Next thing I knew, someone else had put up a new thermostat, and that was gone as quickly as it had appeared. That was weird. And it got weirder when every time I walked by, there was either a new thermostat or no thermostat. I thought I was going crazy. By the time I saw the fourth thermostat, I ripped it out myself. So you're saying we didn't need any of the new thermostats? Yeah, that's right. Then why was the temperature so messed up whenever we didn't have a thermostat? Oh, well, that's kind of my fault, too. <laughs> when I first got the system, I didn't realize that I would like playing with the app on my phone so much. I'd sit at home late at night, running my fingers along the thermostat. I'd temperature up, temperature down, temperature up, temperature down. I kind of fell asleep doing that night after night. I didn't realize the changes were instantaneous. Oh, and I I think once or twice I may have but dialed a new temperature. Huh. So, the crimes of the stolen thermostats are not really crimes at all? Not really. The board doesn't care. We don't even know who is installing the new thermostats to begin with. That was me. (gasps) Oh, Sam! Sam! I've missed you! Missed you too, Jess. Uh, Sam, we meet again at last. You are under arrest for being- Wait! You have nothing to arrest Sam for anymore. The thermostats were not the work of the holiday heister. And besides, the board doesn't care. They're not pressing charges. What about all the other holiday heister crimes? Uh, Do you have any other evidence Sam committed the crimes? Well... I have a good hunch she did. Circumstantial! <laughs> good lawyer. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm telling you, Sam is not the holiday heister. If it's anyone, it's Rowan. Oh! oh. Didn't you already gasp for that? Uh, d- do you have any evidence, Sam sibling Sam? Rowan's handkerchief. It has the initials HH on it. My hank? Oh, you mean this handkerchief. Sorry, Mr. Kingsport, I forgot I had it. <gasps> Why... That's my original Hubert Howell's handkerchief. This is the one he used for the months that he was living alone in a bunker, drinking the water he he made himself for inspiration. I thought it was lost from my personal collection. (laughs) Thank you, Rowan! You're welcome. (laughs) Well, well, it would seem we are finished here. But, But what about the other thermostat? And the pills! No, the station doesn't care about the thermostat, and I don't care about the pills. I'm I'm well now, and I <coughs> I really was only a little curious as to who had taken those pills. They were sugar pills anyway. I thrive on placebo effect. Does that mean that we're done? That everything can go back to normal? With Sam and Jess back on the air together again, finally? Ha! <laughs> Ah, that's right, Rowan. Everything resets now. Back to the way things are supposed to be at the beginning of every episode of Granola Park Radio. Ready for a new conflict to arise and be resolved within the half hour. Wait, what about the paid internship? If Rowan and I are still the only interns, one of us has to get it. It's It's Doofus and Toad in the courtroom! Joke's on you, dumb turd. There was never a paid internship. I can't believe you fell for that. But hey, you were a great intern while you thought you were in competition with Clown Boy over there. So, you know, way to go. No, 
paid internship? You gotta be kidding me. Come back here, you oh, stock oh, jocks! Oh, get ah! out! Oh, 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 yes, well, well, with all of that settled, I declare this inquiry... Wait, come... Huh? I have something to say. Fighting his aliens? For centuries, my family has sought to promote liberty and justice in this and all countries known to man, and some known only to Ozymandias's. Here I stand before you, descended from the likes of Washington and Jefferson Ozymandias, to say we shall press forward, boldly, unto a new day, a day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today we celebrate. Oh, please. Court is returned. Ha ha. Trademark Sebastian Ozymandias. www.ozymandias.spam. That's ozymandias.spam. Are you finished? Never. Well, thank you for joining us this time, dear listener. We'll see you again in two weeks. When everything will be back to normal! Up next, Clam on Clam with Nan and Pam. Ah, yes, my lovely Pierre. They never suspected us for a moment. Come, have a sugar pill. <laughs> Indigo squirrels, indeed. <laughs>